looking for a gunman who shot into a deep Ellum recording studio, injuring a musician. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. These are images from the studio surveillance camera of the gunman at the front door just before 6 o'clock this morning. Fox 4's Deanna Zoga at the Dallas Police Department tonight. All right, Deanna, any more information on what really led up to this? No, not at this point. The owner of the recording studio tells me he does not recognize the man. He did turn over surveillance video to police and the department this afternoon released images of the gunman. They say shot a client right through the front door. I woke up seeing a lot of stuff on Twitter, a lot of talk about it, and I didn't know what was going on. For regulars who come here in hopes of getting their dreams off the ground, news of a shooting at this recording studio came as a shock. This is really unexpected just for it to happen, but we just want to see if they're okay. We we're just trying to check on our people here, like these people are like family to us. The owner of Legacy Music Group tells Fox 4 employees and clients had been working on music through the night when they heard knocks at the front door just before 6 a.m. Another producer slash engineer inside at the time tells me he and a client went to the door but never unlocked it. The guy outside said never mind, then turned around and opened fire. A bullet went through the glass door and hit the client in the shoulder. The gunman took off. It had to be at least somebody out here just to see what happened, you know, because it's really a busy street downtown Dallas, you know. Police say the suspect was carrying a backpack. He wore a light colored shirt and ball cap. He also has a sleeve tattoo on his right arm. Rodney Appleton and Preston Mullins, who weren't here when the shooting happened, don't recognize the man, but hope someone out there does. I'm telling you, like, they're really serious about their craft. Like, they're always just working. Like, they're always focused on what they got going inside the studio. So it's never nothing any, like, there's never any drama really going on. It kind of puts me on edge, but it's still like I love my craft, so. I still would come around just, just to get my dreams out. So the studio had its grand opening just under two years ago there in Deep Ellum. The owner says he has not heard of any other problems. As for this client who was injured, was taken to the hospital. The owner of the recording studio says that man did undergo surgery today. Back to you, Steve. All right, Deanna Zoga, Dallas Police Headquarters. Thanks.